city, as in Tanzania, as in Uganda as well. We are growing our business to ensure that we have an adequate market share and that we can service um, many segments of, 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 of the market, mm -hmm. particularly in the rural areas where we started off from in 1996 and where we, we really are able to service the rural area customers very well. Mm -hmm. and, and let's talk about um, the entrance of uh, you know, new players into the market. Uh, we've seen uh, several new players uh, playing now and uh, also we've seen uh, imports from uh, the Far East. We have from China, uh, from Pakistan mostly. Do you see this as an opportunity or a threat? Imports will, will, will infiltrate our, our, our uh, borders when there's a shortage of cement locally uh, uh, that is not available at the right quality or the right price. Arthur River Mining's emphasis has been on investing in the right quality product and the right equipment to increase the capacity. So over a period of time, we will catch up with, with, the, with the demand and we will be more economical um, as, as we increase our capacity. And let's talk about uh, the cost of production. And this has been really featuring prominently among manufacturers like yourself, uh, saying that uh, Kenya really, in terms of the way that we've been positioning ourselves, we've seen certain manufacturers also making considerations whether to migrate to countries like uh, perhaps uh, Tanzania, which are more or less perceived to be favorable to manufacturers when it comes uh, to the element of uh, the cost of production. How are you putting up, uh, you know, Pradeep, as uh, Three River Mining? Our cost of production is a little higher than in other parts of the world, particularly because of the energy cost. Uh, energy cost, as you, you've probably seen, is 44% of our total production cost. That includes coal that we import from Mozambique for, for firing our kills, and, and diesel and, 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 and petroleum used for earth-moving equipment in our quarries. Um, but having an efficient plant and a world-class plant uh, ensures that we are able to keep our costs low. We are building our plants to, to the best benchmarks, international benchmarks, in terms of energy consumption per tonne of cement, um, and, and, and therefore we are ensuring that we are in that ballpark um, of international pricing. Okay. And then are you considering perhaps uh, joining the leagues of uh, you know, Mumia Sugar Factory that have also entered into uh, the arena of energy generation and even to an extent selling to the national grid. If you, if you remember, we already have signed an agreement with Kenya Power and Lighting Company to, to set up a 66 megawatt power plant at Kaloleni. This power plant requires a, a lot of water because it is, it is a, a steam based and we're now looking at setting up a dam on Kombeni River on the way to Kaloleni which will store water not only for our power plant but also for the community. Uh, once the dam is set up, the power plant will take about 18 months to set up and, and uh, although it's 66 megawatt, our own consumption is only going to be part of that. So the balance of the power is going to be sold into the national grid to, to KPLC. Mm -hmm. Just bring us closer to understand the kind of investment that you're right now doing. Uh, here you've done, just finished uh, an entire grinding plant here in Atheriva, in uh, Tanga and Dar es Salaam. Help us understand the kind of investment that has been done into the setup of these uh, particular facilities. The total cost of uh, uh, the plant in Tanzania is going to be in excess of about $125 million. Okay. Um, in, um, so that's about 12 roughly 12 billion shillings. Mm -hmm. um, that includes a 4,000 ton per day clinker manufacturing line mm -hmm. and, and a 5,000 ton per day cement grinding facility between Tanga and Dar es Salaam. The Dar es Salaam grinding plant alone will be 5,000 uh, ton per, uh, will be 2,700 ton per day um, and the balance in, in Tanga. Mm -hmm. And the kind of benefits that this uh, brings to the economy in terms of uh, creating employment opportunities, what do you project this now to stand off at in Tanzania and generally the whole uh, group? Although the plants are automated and, and as I mentioned earlier, they run with very few engineers uh, and, and, and the high technology plants, there's a huge number of uh, people we need uh, in, the, in the periphery of the cement plant mm -hmm. and, and those supplying to the cement plant. In, in Tanzania already we've got about 500 people working in and around the, the Dar es Salaam plant uh, 
new shops are being set up, hospital, uh, and then and the whole economic activity around the cement plant mm -hmm. is increasing um, mm -hmm. uh, because of the direct and indirect impact of, of, the, of the plant and the number of people we employ. Okay, the investors were curious to ask perhaps as, as you seek a Pan-African agenda in terms of growth because as we have uh, the uh, Tanzanian uh, facilities becoming operational then you'll have an entry into the South African development community or stretching all the way to Namibia, Zimbabwe, Botswana. Do you look at uh, possibly going to the stock exchange perhaps to raise more money to finance uh, this expansion? Certainly, I think once uh, the size of the company uh, grows and, and, and new expansion, now the expansions that we will be making will no longer be in, in, in small plants that we started off with. Mm -hmm. Historically, that, is, uh, that was necessary because we couldn't tap into, in, into any larger uh, capital, capital raise. But now that has become a possibility uh, and we need the more, more capital to, to, to grow and then to put bigger capacity plants. Uh, so the answer to your question is yes, at some point uh, we will be going back to the market uh, for, for, for raising more capital. Mm -hmm. And you know Pradeep, during this conversation and the perception that most people have really been following about what's been happening at the river mining, a lot of focus and energy really has been focused at the cement production. Yet, of course, you talked to us about uh, the introduction of one of your divisions, which now stands in terms of value estimated at about 1 billion shillings, that is uh, in uh, fertilizer production. Um, are, you, are you going to be overlooking this for a while as, as you focus your energies on uh, cement production? This is our biggest um, opportunity and the biggest challenge in our company. We don't have enough money for, for, for investing and growing the fertilizer business and in the cement business. So it's, it is a problem. Um, and I'm afraid I don't have a, an answer for you, <laughs> except to say that, yes, at some stage we should go back to the market and, and raise money and, and, and build the businesses where we are adding value where there's a demand in the country and where we are meeting a gap uh, in, for, for the consumers at the moment. I think we should go back to the market. Mm -hmm. and, and, and just talking about um, your, your farm, you know, the, the issue about uh, climate change is very close to the hearts of uh, Kenyans right now. We, we're still, you know, reeling from the effects of uh, a drought that has hit the Horn of Africa, the worst in about 60 years. How are you doing your, you know, your business responsibly in terms of uh, you know, managing the environment? Climate change is, is at the heart of, of every global citizen now. We cannot escape what is happening in China or, or, or in the United States or in Africa or Kenya for that matter. And we are playing our part uh, in mitigation efforts. A cement plant produces a lot of carbon dioxide because it burns uh, coal and limestone. Uh, but cement is a necessary part of the, uh, of, of the economic development and, 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 and for, for, for growth of a country. The mitigation measures are energy efficiencies in the plant um, and, and, and ability to capture the carbon through tree plantations and, 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 and forestry. Uh, I personally am involved passionately in, 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 in forestry in, in Kenya. I am, I'm, I, and at my own plant, we make this a mission uh, to, to be able to, you know, over the next 10 years, to grow enough forests around our plants which act as carbon sinks. Unfortunately, that is the only way that you can mitigate the impact of, of uh, producing carbon dioxide in a cement plant. Energy efficiency, better use of cement, providing a higher quality, higher strength of cement, which so you use less of that rather than imp use a, a cheaper product and use more cement and, and mitigation through 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 uh, forestry okay and now uh, we just had uh, recently the announcement of uh, your financial results what would you attribute uh, the performance of the farm you know the success of the performance in the last one year we have recently increased the capacity in fact we've doubled the capacity for cement in kenya through our own integrated plant through our own clinker manufacturing um, and we have uh, we're working more and more with our customers in the rural areas but also in the in the infrastructure development so we are supplying a lot of cement now into the infrastructure into road construction in the, in this country um, so I think we we are we are very fortunate that we are part of a growing economy and a growing market uh, uh, for cement mm -hmm. um, so we've just positioned ourselves in, in I think in the right time in the right place mm -hmm. and just recently you were voted as a uh, the third company that uh, Kenyans say makes them feel very proud. 
just after the likes of Safaricom, you came at number three. How do you plan to further enhance your positioning as a brand and connecting with your consumers? I was very gratified uh, with, with that survey where 16,000 people voted and, and, and uh, mentioned Arthur River Mining as, as, as a company that makes, makes them proud to be Kenyan. Um, I think more than uh, giving the right 